Hello Explorer. thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at the Explorer, we go beyond borders, we bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to check our previous videos, if you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at the Kila Lake, Lake Nyos. Lake Nyos found in the northwestern part of the Republic of Cameroon. By the end of this episode, we will explain to you why a lovely lake that has existed within the community all of a sudden turned to become a killer lake. We will also explain to you what actually happened and as a reason why this has been a news that never reached the world beyond. It has also baffled the best and scientists and geologists on actually what happened. So in this episode, we will be able to explain to you, to present to you a kind of a picture on what actually happened. Without any delay, we shall just go straight into it. On August 20, 21st, 1986, one of the strangest and most mysterious natural disasters in history took place at Lake Nyos. A lake formed atop a volcanic crater in northwest Cameroon. It was actually a normal day, as on that particular day was a market day. In the village of Lower Nyos, and that evening, most people went to bed early. The next morning, what they saw baffled them completely. Without any warning, the Lake Nyos released hundreds of thousands of tons of toxic carbon dioxide. Estimates range from over 300,000 to over a million, and this silent dead cloud spread out over the countryside at nearly 100 kilometers. This actually suffocated and estimated just over 1,700. Uh, human beings at the time, say people, and more than 3,500 livestock were perished. It was interesting to how people actually went to bed in the previous night and woke up in the morning were very shocked as to what they found. In this episode, we will be able to explain to you in details as a result of these unexplained circumstances what led the people of Nios to go down on their knees. If you are new to Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The question actually many are asking is what actually happened in Nios on that particular fateful day. If you look at the effect as a result, the devastation at it was swift actually, and with the severity of if you can align that to a biblical plague, it felt locals and wildlife alike by starving the air of oxygen within just over 25 kilometers within that particular radius. Many people from the village of Sha, Nyos, and also Suba were silently obfuscated in, the, in their own sleep. Some were found with blood around their mouth and also coming out from their noses. When a few remaining survivors actually popped up, they, what they realized was unbelievable. Actually, rumors of secret government exp experiments and also strange invisible superweapons of even a series of atomic explosions soon started circulating within the area. This actually went around and also to influence the perception and notion of most people in the community. Unbelievably, what happened was, only later did the real killer was identified as the strange and rare volcanic phenomenon that is associated with the nearby lake called Lake Nyos. For those who survived the incident were actually baffled with regards to the experiences that they, come, they came across. Looking at this, they could even explain things like so difficult for them to open their mouth and the amount of smell that they got in a very terrible way came from that particular area. Others could see family members dying and also struggle to build. It also affected a whole full lot of animals and different parts, and some people could explain that even flies were dead. It was interesting to note that uh, the most gutted wrenching natural event it was the Lake Nyos. It recorded in history could not be explained until today. And scientists even found this to be amazing that a lovely lake in a particular region could all of a sudden turn deadly. It was one of the most baffled disasters scientists have ever investigated. 
Lakes just actually don't rise up and wipe up thousands of people. With regards to our research, we found out that this is so interesting that the build up of this particular lake has been for many years in the making. To give you a clear understanding with regards to Lake Nios, if you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Lake Nios is located along the Cameroon Volcanic Line. Since over 1956, with regards to the long area chain of volcanoes and volcanic craters, lakes extended from the Gulf of Guinea into Cameroon and Nigeria. The origin of the VCVL also is still not completely understood. It is possible that during the breakup of Africa from South America and 150 million years ago, a third reef started to develop but failed to become the organic or an organic basin like the Atlantic Ocean. Today, the only active volcano of the CVL is Mount Cameroon. However, there is still a large magma chamber found at a depth of 50 miles under the CVL. From this magma, chamber large quantities of gases are released. Following forth, the gases flow into the crater lakes, of course, that actually mar a collapse of the volcanic crater to filled by water and also call the geologists. This effect would actually turn to become deadly in the years ahead. The question also lies on why a particular lake that has been supporting the community in a whole lot of ways turned all of a sudden that in the morning people came in there and saw their dead bodies and also animals. At the time, Researchers even determined that Lake Nios had released a massive amount of CO2 at around late 9 p.m. And because of the CO2 is heavier than the surrounding air, it quickly sunk into the villages below, blanketing everywhere or everything in sheets of toxic gas. Usually, those hundreds of thousands of tons of CO2 are kept contained inside the lake, but this time, something below the, the lead of actually happened within. With regards to further research, it is not clear what broke the seal and also allowed the deep contamination water to rise, but it could have been an earthquake, a landslide or a volcanic eruption, or even something as simple as heavy rain muddling the water below. This trigger was a silent aspect that happened and to cause a catastrophe within that particular zone of that nation. But the question most asked are what actually triggered this eruption? The catastrophic method. The lake literally exploded in what is known as the Limnic eruption, sending a fountain of water over 300 feet into the air and creating a small tsunami sort, sort of to say. In the absence of a scientific explanation into this particular phenomenon, conspiracy theories reared their own inevitable head, with some locals convincingly themselves that the eruption had been triggered by undisclosed bomb tests carried out by the Israelis and Cameroon government. But the time lapse also could explain that it was actually a scientific eruption and something that actually happened coming from this particular lake. Weirdly enough, a similar event happened nearby just two years earlier at Lake Manu, where a CO2 of eruption gas killed over 37 people. No one knew what triggered that particular eruption either. To prevent those particular issues happening again in Lake Nios from exploding also, as of 2001, engineers installed pipes in boat to reduce the amount of uh, CO2 from the lake bed and reduce also release very gradually into the air. Another sense of pipes were installed in 2011 to avoid any gas burst that could trigger that in either case to prevent lives from loss. To prevent this from happening further, a dam has since been built around the walls to, to, to protect it as well. And while researchers think it will hold into the near future, the process such as watering and also lake overflow could cause other instances of failure. With regards to this particular killer lake, we will say, um, what actually happened on that particular day has actually baffled both scientists and locals. 
With regards to different explanations and different theories, we are looking as to the reason why uh, a lovely lake in a community turned deadly on its people. The volcanic gases are really terrible and when mixed also with carbon dioxide are coming from the ground become even more concentrated at the bottom of the lake. This is interesting to find that most lakes that are within this particular area uh, should need to be looked upon again. In this episode, we've tried to explain to you, which is not pretty clear, on what actually happened on this particular lake news. We shall also be looking into our further investigation and to go further to explain to you what are the scientific implications with regards to this particular location in the future. If you are new to our Explorer, we want to thank you for watching. We encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. For now, thanks for watching again. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Bye-bye.